This week in science, we're talking dogs at the dog park. Now, everybody knows dogs have a very refined sense of smell. They have about 300 million scent receptors in their noses compared to the well, five or six million that humans have. So they can pick up all kinds of things, be it drugs, explosives, even malaria, and some types of cancer as well. So the big question then is, can they detect coronavirus? Some international airports have already run tests on this on a trial basis, but there's been no real hard scientific data until just now. It comes out of the UK, three groups are involved. The London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Durham University, and something called Medical Detection Dogs. They provided the dogs. In this case, Asher, Kip, Lexi, Marlo, Millie, and Tala. They also collected thousands of pieces of essentially dirty clothing, socks, shirts, masks, some from COVID patients and some from non-COVID patients. And they used those to train up the dogs to detect coronavirus over the course of six weeks. Then came the actual scientific test. They took little bits of sock, placed uh, 200 of them from COVID-19 patients and 200 uh, from non-COVID-19 patients into a blind trial. I ran this dogs through it and they performed well, amazingly well, 94% of the time they could correctly identify the samples that came from COVID-19 patients and around 90% of the time, up to it anyway, they could uh, point out the samples that came from non-COVID-19 patients. This of course has implications for travel with people eager to hit the skies again. We need a fast way to screen all those passengers and two of these dogs uh, can screen up to 300 people it's estimated in the course of yeah, half an hour. That's way faster than traditional PCR tests, which are more accurate, so it's not like anybody's suggesting we scrap PCR tests entirely, but dogs could play an important role as the uh, post-COVID travel season gets going. With This Week in Science on City News, I'm News 1130's Curtis Doring.